Hello everybody. I hope you're having a great day. Take a look at this. Homemade sandwich bread. Have you ever thought what you would do if you couldn't get bread from a store? Well, this is the solution. It doesn't get any easier or better than this. And the secret to it all is a bread machine. This is the name of the bread machine on the screen. I'm not going to try to pronounce it, but it's one of the best you can get. And it is expensive, but you tend to get what you pay for. It's so simple. You just push a button and let it go and out comes a loaf of ready to eat bread. It's amazing. I recommend everyone have a bread machine. It's a great device. Let me show you how I make a loaf. It's really simple. Well, you want to start with one and one third cup of water. Just like that, pour it right in. And next we're going to add two tablespoons of powdered milk. And then four tablespoons of sugar. And I'm going to go ahead and give that a quick stir, although you probably wouldn't have to, but I just like doing it. Stir it up a little bit. And now we're going to add flour. Four and a quarter cups of flour. I tried to make it easier for the camera and put it all in this and wound up spilling some. I should have just done it one cup at a time, like usual. But anyway, no problem. Next, we want to put butter. Three tablespoons of butter. I cut three tablespoons and then cut that into quarters just like this. Do you like homemade bread? Again I want to tell you there's no easier way to have it than with a bread machine. Get a good bread machine and you will be so glad you did. And so each of those quarter pieces I put one in each corner just like that. Simple huh? And it's very fast. Now I'm going to go ahead and make an indention in the flour with the bottom of that little bowl. And that's where I'm going to put the bread machine yeast, that rapid rise yeast. And we only need about two and a half teaspoons of yeast. So there we go. And the last thing we want to put in is salt. One, two teaspoons, one on each end like this. And you don't want to get it into the yeast. It's that simple. That's all you have to do. Then you put it in the bread machine, which is no problem at all. It just sets right down in the machine. This machine will mix it and knead it and let it rise and bake it. First you push one button to let it know that you want a loaf. Then you push start and you're done. That's all. You don't have to do anything else until you take it back out, a cooked loaf of bread. And then it starts to go to work like this. I have to admit I enjoy watching it work. Here's a look at the dough. And then it'll go into the rising phase and it knows how long to let it rise. Here's the risen loaf and then it'll switch to baking and it'll bake until it's done and then there you have it. This particular loaf rose so high it touched the top of the machine and so it kind of deformed right on the very top. I maybe need to cut back on my flour amount just a bit. But it doesn't matter. It's just a wonderful loaf of bread and it slides right out. And there you have it. Your very own homemade loaf of sandwich bread. And it smells so good in here and this bread is so wonderful. You will be glad to be able to make this kind of bread. I promise you. Let me slice this up a little bit and give you a look. Had to let it cool off. But it is so fresh, you can't get fresher bread than this. And it is so delicious. Take a look at that. Oh my goodness. Now that's some wonderful bread. One more thing could make it even tastier. You know my favorite. I'm going to slice this, cut it in half, and put some butter on there. Especially while it's still warm. Where's the butter? There we go. Yes, if for any reason you weren't able to get to the grocery store or they ran out of bread, you wouldn't have anything to worry about as long as you had these simple ingredients. You could make all of the bread you want. And it also makes just a great gift. Oh, that tastes so good. Let me tell you. Fresh, homemade bread. There is nothing better. Let me tear this apart so you can get a better idea of the texture of this bread. Anyway, I hope you give this a try. 
Thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye now.